What's up, everybody? It's your boy Groove Logic, also known around the Hive blockchain and Twitter's as the Logical Dude. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm chilling out here at this beautiful park out by a river. Felt like I needed to bring back the Nomadic DJ, guys. I felt like I needed to bust a scratch. So I pulled out my Newmark PTO One Scratch Turntable, giving it a little dust off because it's been a while since I've used it got the good old this was actually my first scratch record that i bought for this turntable this is the yo cuts practice scratch by dj richie rough tone so it's a two-sided seven inch regular analog record i've got a stack of a few of these i got some of them that are digitally uh that are digital because i could also mess around with this mix fader i got a whole separate turntable that's kind of set up specifically for this mix fader this mix fader is a bluetooth fader essentially that's what it is it's a bluetooth fader i can hook it up to my ipad and i got a little program that can scratch on it or i can link it up into the ipod here and uh plug in usb into the ipod and it'll read this as a digital uh signal and I got a digital record for that, that that puts off like a you know certain tone. It's a time coded vinyl, and I can scratch with that digitally. So I got, but I got a whole separate setup for that. Today though, we're going all analog. This little guy is so much fun. Like I said, I got two of these. One of them set up for the digital stuff. This is all analog. This has got a custom Jesse Dean fader in it. I put this fader in. These turntables come with like a little switch. Uh, so it's like a little on-off switch. It was fun to play around with, but I'm an old school DJ. I need a fader. So I put one in. This can be found on openformat.la. Um, so they have a lot of customized stuff for these turntables. And they even sell these turntables. I think they even customize them and stuff like that for you if you need. Uh, but yeah, this was a fun little project for me to get into and replace the uh, crossfader and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, just felt like getting down with you guys a little bit i got the ipod charging right now but once that's kind of finished charging up because it's been deader than the doornail because it's been a while since i've done this i'm gonna plug it into this guy sonic port line one ios audio interface so it's got a little input in there that i'm going to plug into and plug that into my phone and that's going to bring in the audio so that'll be good times and uh, yeah, I got a little splitter that I'll be listening to it as well. And then it's being powered by one of my uh, 300 watt power banks. Lithium battery power packs. These are great. Love these things. So uh, yeah, all running off a of 12 volt. Perfect for van life. Perfect for the nomadic DJ lifestyle that I love to have. So you're going to be getting a lot more of these kind of videos coming up. Because I now got me a new snazzy tripod for these sort of occasions. So good stuff, guys. We're going to get right on into this. I'm going to get set up and we're going to rock and roll. This is where I'm going to plug in the power for this guy. 12 volt hookup here. This is going to be the output also to the sound card. So we're going to get that set up here in just a moment. Over here on the front side, we got the little audio input. So I got a stereo, a little short stereo connection here, a little gain knob. And this is the USB connection. So it's got like a little internal audio interface there. You got pitch control, you got tone control which is kind of like a EQ almost. And then you just got your volume range and that's for the turntable here. Your uh, the stereo has its own little gain over here. This little guy's a little speaker, but when we have the uh, plug-in, uh, the splitter plugged in for the output, we're not gonna use this. I'm gonna be listening to it through headphones. And of course you got your needle. I have got a penny wrapped up in electrical tape and uh, super glued onto here to add some extra weight because it was definitely a jumpy little thing. And then I added a little hair tie back here for some balance. Uh, so yeah, it actually gives it a lot more balance. So it doesn't skip around as it does when it's uh, on factory. So that's the setup. We're getting this up and running and uh, I'm gonna get you guys a scratch busted out here in just a minute. <laughs> 